So what is a commitment? Well, a lot of people have a whole lot of commitments these days. And I would have to say, um, commitments are, they're pretty often. A lot of times the commitments that we make, we don't typically are able, we're not able to uphold. Um, a commitment is simply a acknowledgement of the fact that you feel a, a necessity or a need for change, right? So... When you commit to something new, it's the fact that you're acknowledging that you need change. So that's a little bit deeper into it, is the fact that you feel a push for change. And because it's hard, you're going to make a commitment, like a forceful willing to go out and make sure you do this thing that you, you want the change in your life, that you, that you would love to see flourish in your life. You're now committing to that. And so what will happen is... When we're young, there's always change. Up until we're 18, things never really stay the same. We're all, it's, not only are you changing on a, a physical level, you're changing because you're changing on a physical level. Your hormones are different, so they're influencing your brain differently. So you're changing on a psychological level. And what happens when we become adults, that physical growth, as far as like an organism or a species would be concerned, is now done. Now we've settled into our psychological... Um, state as an adult and now we we feel that need for change the change has started to it stopped and slowed and we can fall into our positive or negative daily habits that we have developed or accrued over our lifetime um, some of us are not conscious of negative habits that we have that we do every day um, when you become conscious of them you begin to be able to look at and be like wow I do this every single day like my life would be better, so much better if I didn't do this thing. And so there's a lot to that. But when we feel a great necessity for a change in the direction of our life, we might make a commitment to start or to stop doing something. And the best way to replace a habit or get rid of a habit, positive or negative, is simply to exchange it for another habit. Okay? So... You don't put your focus on, I'm going to commit to not doing this because your focus is on the thing and whether you're doing it or not, you're, st you're still focusing on the negative thing. What you, should, what you should say is, I'm going to commit to this and it should be something that is replacing that time block or that space of the thing you're trying not to avoid. So you don't even want to think about it or acknowledge it. You don't want to commit to, I'm going to commit to trying to not doing this. Find something that can replace it and say, I'm going to commit to this. And so commitments, relationship, family, I'm going to commit to this girl. I'm going to commit to this man. I'm going to commit to this, this thing, you know, oh, somebody, I shared my, I shared my commitment or my goal with somebody and they didn't think that I could do it. They shot me down. They didn't think it was possible for me. And so now I'm judging it even more more so on my part. And now I have guilt for thinking, well, maybe I can't do this thing. And so there's commitments that you can share with people closest to you. Just be aware that the people closest to you, your friends and family are what I like to call your sphere of influence. Okay. And so your sphere of influence can impact your judgments on yourself much harder than if a stranger gave you their opinion of yourself. You see what I'm saying? So you can be hurt more by the people you love and that are closest to you than by a complete stranger. And even though that those people that you love might not think that it hurts you, if you feel a need to grow and commit to something new and, and become a new version of yourself, they might not know that, that is, that's what the inner turmoil that, that, that's going on inside of you, the... the, um, the the dissonance that there's a, there's a need for change just like on a cellular level when one cell um is about to divide because that's what cells do is they get really unstable and they pop and they go into two cells right so there's a there's a huge um state of stress that it's under and then boom it's two cells and now two cells can do the job of one one cell even better and so there's that feeling for constant growth because life is growth and what is growth? Growth is change. So you'll always feel this, this 
need to commit to something new, to commit to new changes in your life, to commit to growing as a person. Because once you become an adult, your no laws are physically changing or so much psychologically changing. But because you're because the lack thereof, you feel like you need to be doing more, accomplishing more. And so it's a completely normal and natural thing. It's just the way that most of us go about it is we look at it into a, in a negative light. And the best way to look at it is say, hey, I'm going to swap out this, this habit with this one and I'm going to commit to this new one, okay? And when you really commit, when you really focus on it, write it down. Write it down at night before you go to bed. When you wake up, try to write it down right when you wake up. Take some meditation time. Take some time where you just close your eyes. Try to empty the thoughts. Try to just remember that you're just going to be focusing on your breath for the next five minutes. And you'll get better and better at that. And then take that same thought and right after you're done working on emptying the mind, right after like a meditation, whatever you want to call it, thought emptying, many names for it, take that thought that you want to focus on, that new commitment, and just plan it right there consciously and try to focus on that for the next five minutes with no other thoughts coming in the way of it. And so what that'll help do is it'll help you stay true to your commitments, okay? Stay true to the changes that you want in your life, the the positive influence, you know? Peace.